Good evening, my delightful, soulful spirits. Welcome to part two of our Chakra Balancing Series. This part, we are talking about opening the heart to love. This is my favorite topic. I am Monica Bickerstaff, and I am your certified holistic health practitioner and your fountain of youth guru and what that means is I have expertise as a certified aromatherapist a master herbalist and a traditional Chinese medicine energy healer yes that's a mouthful but with me you have a triple threat and I'm here to continue our three-part series on chakra balancing for wealth, for love, for peace, and for happy life. And in part one, we discussed the chakra balancing for our three bottom, our grounding chakras. So our root chakra, our sacral chakra, and our solar plexus chakras. Those three chakras are very important in expressing and manifesting who we are. I am, I will, and I feel, right? Okay, so while you get your wellness journals and your pens, I have something to share with you. I have a mantra to share with you, and it reads as follows. The source of love is deep within us, and we can help others realize a lot of happiness. One word, one action, one thought can reduce another person's suffering and bring that person joy. So let's kick off with something heartwarming. I am wearing my rose quartz choker. Rose quartz is the crystal for love, for attracting love, and for allowing the wearer to open her heart, attract love, give love bountifully and unconditionally, and also to forgive. Because, in my opinion, <clears throat> you can't love fully unless you're loving wholly and forgiving completely. So whether that's forgiving someone who has wronged you or forgiving yourself, to me they go hand in hand, right? Okay, so what is a chakra? Well, we touched a little bit on this in part one of our series, but let me kind of highlight what a chakra is again. Chakra is the Sanskrit term for wheel. So it literally means wheel. We have seven energy wheels that are aligned on our spine from our root to our crown. And ideally, to attain optimum, optimal health and to look and feel your best, you want to have all of those wheels spiraling in a clockwise direction all at once. Well, that doesn't always happen, not even with me, okay? So you might have some spiraling clockwise and others going counterclockwise. The goal is to bring them into alignment. And if you want to work with me on fine tuning and aligning your chakras so that you can live a full, healthy, abundant life, please look me up on Facebook at Monica Bickerstaff. Visit me on my brand new, spanking new YouTube channel, Monica Bickerstaff. You can e me at sistersage888 at aol.com or you can tweet me at Vegas Holistic. I am offering a seven week chakra aligning program for $777 and it just covers everything. You will uh, complete the program feeling refreshed, renewed, 
recharged literally you will be infused with so much energy that you will be um, creative you will be productive you will be forgiving you will be loving you will be receiving love you will be espousing wisdom so all of that if you're interested please get in touch with me so let's talk about the heart chakra the heart uh, the color for our heart chakra is green our anahita is the Sanskrit name for heart chakra and the element for this chakra is air now some essential oils that are helpful to diffuse like I'm diffusing in the back here um, include lavender coriander rose geranium patchouli all of the citrus oils which include lemon grapefruit lime orange tangerine uh, bergamot those are wonderful heart openers wonderful essential oils for the heart and when we think about our energy centers well our energy center is our heart muscle so it's very 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 important to take care of your heart and to protect your heart I read a study a few months ago uh, where scientists have confirmed that man or woman you can actually die from a broken heart so I guess you know if you've heard the the fairy tales and fables where um, the individual well he died from a broken heart or she died from heartache that's very true so it's very very important for us to protect our heart muscles okay when our heart chakras are imbalanced are out of whack let me tell you some of the things that might happen we might see as far as physical imbalance um, asthma <clears throat> if you're someone who suffers with asthma uh, you might experience a heart attack a mitral valve prolapse uh, congestive heart failure breast or lung cancer okay um, emotional imbalances of the heart muscle heart chakra fear of commitment you may be an over pleaser you definitely probably have trust issues you may exhibit um, needy neediness behaviors uh, jealousy you may be bossy uh, you're definitely bitter, um, greedy, and uh, pessimism. So those are some of the emotional imbalances of the heart. Now, I also craft and blend with love a special heart opener, uh, essential oil blend, and it's called Peace of Mind. Now, this is a two-ounce wonderful warming massage oil, and two ounces for mm, $19.95 it includes some of the citrus oils that I spoke about earlier it has yummy vanilla in it it uh, some lavender uh, another little spice which I will keep as my secret but this is a wonderful massaging oil and it actually goes on as a warming oil so it's very soothing um, very yummy and if these were edible oils we would all be eating the oils alright so back to balancing our heart chakra for love for forgiveness I want to share with you five important steps that you can take to heal your heart uh, one is to identify and feel the pain it's necessary to admit that you are in pain and that you are hurting alright not just admit to yourself but also admit to share feelings with a friend or a therapist okay talk it over with someone don't just keep it inside um, how has your pain changed your behavior towards yourself and others? So some of those emotional imbalances, maybe you have, uh, over time, with a closed heart, become very needy. 
uh, perhaps you've developed, if you've been hurt, trust issues. Or um, perhaps you're just bitter. Maybe you're just a bitter Betty. Uh, you, you don't believe that you will ever love again. You don't believe that you're worthy of love. It's very difficult to um, get close to you. Um, you might have a prickly, prickly personality. So um, that's, that's a sign of a closed heart of bitterness. Um, identify the good that has come from your pain. So with the bad, we have to balance that out with the good. Um, pain, the course of pain, uh, our perseverance through pain, that's always a lesson, right? It always teaches us a lesson. When we get to the other side, we have this abundance of wisdom so that we can reach back and help someone else. And forgive whomever hurt you. This, uh, we always hear this. You not only forgive yourself, but you forgive the person who has wronged you. And it's not for that person. That person may not even know that you've forgiven him or her, but it's for you so that you can release. <sighs> so you can exhale all of the toxisms and just let everything out. Well, I could speak about the heart and love all day and all night, but I will save my lessons and my wisdom uh, for our part three of our chakra balancing series, where I will speak about aligning the throat chakra, the third eye chakra, and the crown chakra. So. As the energy center, once the heart is balanced, how do you connect the crown wisdom through your third eye perception to the communicative area, chakra, your heart, I, I'm sorry, your throat, and back to your heart? And of course, everything still has to be grounded at the bottom, right? So there's a lot involved. Um, but that's what we will discuss in our next segment of chakra balancing for abundance and healthy life and we are again looking at specifically alignment for wealth for love and for peace and before I leave you all tonight I want to share some more wisdom this is a Sioux Indian legend the longest journey that you will ever make in your life is from your head to your heart. My wonderful spirited soulful spirits and my savvy wellness warriors, thank you for joining me. And again, if you want to talk to me, email me at sistersage888 at aol.com Find me on Facebook. Friend me. I love friends. Join my village at Monica Bickerstaff. Or seriously, you got to check out my YouTube channel, Monica Bickerstaff. I've got two series running right now. One is DIY Aroma Quickies, where I'm literally teaching you how to blend things from sexy, spicy massage oils to eczema erasers to hormone balancing serums with essential oils for PMS and menopause. So we're covering the whole gamut. And then my other channel is Sassy, Sexy, and Ageless with Fountain of Youth Guru Monica Bickerstaff where I'm sharing the secrets that have been passed to me from my Nana who is still living and living La Vida Loca at age 100 years young no, I did not stutter. Yes, she is 100 years old, and she's got all of her faculties, all of her uh, mobil. She's got her complete mobility, beautiful skin, um, almost wrinkle-free, uh, thick head of, of beautiful, healthy hair. So I'm spilling her secrets on that channel. So check me out, YouTube at Monica Bickerstaff, and until next time, I am wishing you an abundance of love. Open your heart to love and forgiveness, and I will see you soon.